Hi Aquarius, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing amazing. This is your monthly read for the month of August. So let's dive into it. A um, friendly reminder that everything that I read here is not going to resonate with you. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. So your overall energy for the month of August is what we are going to see first. Overall energy of the Aquarius. Overall energy of Aquarius for the month of August. Overall energy of Aquarius for the month of August. Overall energy of Aquarius for the month of August. We have the three of wands. So Aquarius, you are in an energy of expansion. You have been waiting to take certain decision. You have reached a place and you are now just waiting to see the fruits of your hard work that you have been uh, doing for past couple of months. It seems eight or nine months. That is the energy I'm getting. So Aquarius three of wands is such a beautiful energy transitioning from the new beginning taking the decision of how you want to go forward with whatever project, energy, relationship that you've started and then progressing into uh, the three of wands where you wait. You have invested your time, you have taken your decision and now you're waiting to see the results of it. And you are also go being given an opportunity, a push that you have been willing that it will come towards you is going to happen in the month of August. With Saturn, Mercury and Venus retrograde uh, currently going on and I see most of the fixed signs are going to get affected with the alignment, the change, the transformation that they have been looking for for quite some time is finally going to happen for you and this is one of the ladders that will be provided to you for abandoned success career and relationship so overall energy is pretty good Aquarius let's see what are your opportunities going to be like in the month of August what are your opportunities going to be like in the month of August uh, one more thing, if you all are thinking of getting away from your home for anything um, for some time or going to stay away, opportunities of traveling far are also coming for you. Overseas travel or travel uh, across the country and city or states is also seen in the month of August. Traveling or settling down, both of it. Let's see what are your opportunities for the month of August. We have the star as your opportunity. Wow. There is so much hope. There are the stars of your wishes that are going to come true. The hope, the uh, imagination, the healing that you have been willing to get, go through for quite some time and couldn't get healed. That healing energy is coming for you. The opportunities to heal your relationships, the opportunities to heal your inner child, inner wound and get that hope up because these opportunities are the precipice of it because the full moon happened in Aquarius on the 1st of the August and since then it is a very, very potent and beautiful energy that you're going to be in uh, that will help you carry a uh, uh, break the generational traumas and accept yourself as you are the weirdness the craziness that Aquarians hold you're finally ready to accept it and let go of the stigma of being in a certain different direction okay so opportunities of healing career uh, healing old wounds and hopes and wish fulfillments are coming towards you wow I'm already liking this reading Let's see what are your obstacles for the month of August, my dear Aquarius. Obstacles for the month of August. We have the five of swords as your obstacles. Okay, so uh, 
Aquarius, avoid ego battles. Your ego is going to be your biggest enemy uh, in the month of August because you are going to get into petty ego struggles with some of your friends, family members and also the people that you love. So try not to get into uh, these ego battles because they are going to become a barrier for your own a uh, healing journey because some of the relationships that you're trying to heal are the relationships with the people you might get into a petty battle for and the healing journey will just get staggered or it might just you know, uh, become stagnant and it will not go forward so avoid uh, ego connections trying to prove yourself true or trying to just make um uh, the other people person feel bad about the way they treated you because it is not going to help you positively rather it will just uh backfire and become an obstacle of your own healing journey and achievements okay let's see how your love life is progressing my dear queries so far so good let's see how is your love life going to be aquarius in the month of august we have the strength card and the knight of swords okay love life is going to be tested it is going to be uh, strengthened and it is also going to make you rethink about your decisions in terms of love okay the month of august is going to test your relationships with your partners your lovers and also with your own self do you have the strength to carry forward this relationship and are these uh, are is the other person who is already involved in a relationship is he stable is he ready to commit is he the one that you need to go forward with uh, is he showing enough energy to take a stand for you these are the questions that you're going to ask yourself in the month of august and some of you are already in a relationship uh, so that relationships also have the energy to get strengthened by some clarity that uh, your partner might provide you so if you have been seeking clarity and you think you are just uh, going with the flow in a relationship but now you can no longer go with the flow so the month of august is going to uh bring in situations where you are asking your partner to provide you with the clarity and to know where the relationship is going so in all a very explorative month in terms of relationships you are going to explore your own dynamics in uh, uh, the relationship about where you stand you are also going to make certain decisions in terms of your relationship it is either make or break kind of situation because the jupiter and the uh, venus tangent uh, currently retrograding along with mercury is going to make it very very uh, prominent if there are certain problems the problems will be prominent if there are certain notations that you need to take care of they are also going to be prominent okay so let's see that is that's fair comparatively in the terms of the heavier energy that we having around us it is quite fair let's see what is your guidance for the month of august aquarius we have the hermit you are being told to gain more knowledge of the situation this is this will be a good month to go inside think about where what and how you can improve yourself gain more knowledge about a situation take your time um, go within rather than outside start meditating because all of the answers that you're seeking my dear aquarians are within you your knowledge your wisdom is something that is going to guide you through very well and angels are trying to guide you saying that you need to use this knowledge and wisdom in this very particular time of yours because your wishes yes you're going to get the opportunity is to fulfill your wishes and to fulfill your wishes you need to have a vision and that vision you're going to get by going within we have three major arcanas in your reading that is a very profound and a very sure and a very big energy 
so the month of <clears throat> august is going to be pretty big for you aquarius pretty big for you let's see what is your guidance for the month of august from our angels what is the guidance for my dear aquarius we have lord krishna it says devotion Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So this is such a such a happy energy, Aquarius. You are being told by Lord Krishna's energy and guidance that your spiritual journey and your own spiritual guidance that you have in your dreams, in your meditation, or in your gut. Trust it. Okay. your devotion your commitment has been recognized by the spirit realms by the angels by the gods your commitment to yourself and your commitment to your partner has been recognized and if that commitment is strong it is going to go through if it is not you are going to run behind it and it is going to break but if your commitment to yourself your god and your spirituality is unshakable it has been recognized and it is going to go in a positive manner okay you are loved unconditionally uh, by the spirit realms so never feel alone even if you're feeling lonely don't feel uh, that you are all alone no one loves you you definitely are loved by your spirit angels and everyone every energy of your loved one that has passed away from this lifetime Okay I hope you like this video if you did please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload the video okay bye